get up in the morning and say, good morning, God. Enjoy life. The first thing they want to do is say, oh, my God. You know, jump up. Stand on your head and gargle that peanut butter. I think you can get your way. I get on that, but I, it's not big enough. Try your luck. I have to be a witness against myself. <laughs> okay. Deep in the south where the truckers flow, live singer Willie Nelson with a heart that glows. With dreams of farmers that struggle for success, Willie fights the government that created the mess. Realization came from listening to his wife or receiving emails from farmers and truckers in strife. Biodiesel being the saving product that could be produced with simplicity and ingenuity while realizing the good life. Wars and rumors of wars can cease to be. Let Mother Earth do the job intended to be. They did have a skull here and they painted over it, but the skull was what takes place with diesel. Then you come over here and you get biodiesel, and that's what happened. Well, I wanted to call attention to biodiesel, and uh, someone suggested that maybe we do our own brand, and so really it's that simple, that's how we come up with biodiesel. I've known him not nearly all my life. I never did like him when I was real young because he was too clean cut, you know. He wore suits and ties. I didn't. I put horseshoes on my feet and let the sparks go on a motorcycle and let, and let the kids marvel, you know. It's just, now it's just the opposite. I'm clean cut and he's a hoodlum, see. I felt it. I felt Willie felt it. Willie, Willie reading the same thing that I'm reading. You know, we're sharing the same thoughts and that's what happens. When two or more people agree, it happens. Willie called me and said, uh, I asked me what I was doing one day and I said I was getting ready to shut down and get, concentrate on my land business. So Willie said, well, shut the damn place down, Carl. Just shut it down. And I said, oh. I said, I am Willie. And the next day he called me and said, don't shut it down, I want to do something. He told me again that he'd like to put in a biodiesel truck stop. And so we are going to put one lane out there. And I asked him, I said, well, do you really believe in the product? And he said, yeah. So I said, well, let's do everything. I don't want to have any regular diesel. It's all biodiesel. And so that's what we did. Congratulations, pal, on the award given to you. I know they're proud to have you out there. What do you got to tell us about the goings on? Give me the Carl Cornelius point. Well, the proof of the pudding is Willie is going to put a book out in the near future with the comments of all the truckers. And uh, you, you know part of the saying there, but the uh, motor cooled down, the heat went down, and uh, more gas mileage, fuel mileage there, and less noise, pulling power is great. Emissions, that's the first time in history they've been able to stand behind their pipes without their eyes burning. And so it, it, this is something that's gonna happen, Bill. Like Edison and the light bulb, you have to have a dream. You have to bring it into your power. Well, when you get a bunch of small people together, like us, you know, and a bunch of truck stops, and a bunch of plants, they can do a lot of t together. We have to focus things in the reality. If we sit back and rest on our laurels, we won't get it done. But if we sit back and meditate and put these good people together, it's not about me making millions and millions because I'll give it away. I don't care. You know, it's how to be an attribute to society. That's what we can accomplish. Know that you are. I am that I am. You know, and we're there. And I'm not saying that I'm God or anything like that. I'm telling you that God dwells within my soul as well as yours. All we have to do is stop Give him in that quiet hour the ability to communicate and things come to pass. You never want to listen to anybody with any negative comments. You got to eliminate that. And if you eliminate it, then as Forrest Gump said, shit happens. Hello. What do you sell more, a B10 or B20? B20, and if we ever have 100 or 95 percent, 45 percent, those go really fast. We can't keep them. They sell out. Uh, all people can't really get into the biodiesel business right now because they got deep pocketbooks. 
You know, we don't have deep pocketbooks, so if we screw up, they can sue us and they ain't got nothing. But so they gotta wait till we perfect it and then they'll come in, big time. Why do we have wars? We're greedy. So we have all, but we want more. We don't want to run out. And believe me, if you run out, then you're gonna have some screaming and holler. Sure, they'll, they'll come in there. You, if there's money involved, you know they're gonna take over. They're gonna come in, you know. I don't know that they'll take over, per se, but I mean, they'll have their cut. It's called greed. When I go to a church, I want to belch, I want to burp, I want to be filled. I haven't found that church yet, except in my own private chambers. And then I get so beside myself, I nearly pee in my pants, because it's that great. You can be in heaven right now if you want to be in heaven. And all the people around you are going to look and say, my God, look at him. There goes a godlike man. He's got intoxicated. And he's not preaching the word. He's not going down to some jail and cramming God and Jesus down their throats. He's saying, do you need a toothbrush? Do you need a Pella? Do you need some covers? Do you need a pen and pencil to write? Luther Burbank used to say, well, I talk and walk and talk with Jesus and he with me. He teaches me and tells me what to do. All I'm telling you, and the same thing in the biodiesel, if people will let God talk to them as their innermost being. Listen, not to other people, but listen. The seeds will be there. America can get back to the moral ethics of life. All they have to do is go to that closet. And the closet is yourself. The quietness, the stillness. Not going there with a blank mind, but going there and listen. And God will talk to you in a voice like I'm talking to you right now. You will hear the conversation, you will recognize the conversation, and it will come to pass, because he'll tell you what he wants done. No ifs, ands, or buts. It all works out for the good to them that love the Lord. Or you can sit there and bitch and moan, you know. It's how you want to look at it. Is a cup half empty or half full? You know. Muhammad Ali, maybe I'm the, not the greatest, he would have lost. But he was the greatest. He had it in his mind, he was the greatest. It's just, it's fun. Life is fun if we want to make it fun. If we want to make it hell, we can make it hell. You know? Apologize for all the preaching. What we create in our own minds now, and if we take the time to visualize it, we will create in the inner world that which we externalize in the form that we visualize. That's Murdo MacDonald Bain.